What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe mode. We have an interesting card today with some very, very interesting fights and uh, a lot of stuff is going to go down in this uh, in this card. So first and foremost we have Rafi Shafiq making his uh, debut against Alex Caceres in the featherweight division. Then we have two of the biggest featherweight prospects, Suvan Dekel taking on Alaves. Uh, the winner of this fight could potentially fight for a belt depending on... Uh, how that goes. Then we have uh, Alex Woodward looking to extend his uh, his win streak in the welterweight division. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Tony Atlas taking on Colby Covington in a very, very interesting fight. Maybe we could match these two up uh, down the line. Then Khabib Nurmagomedov is taking on Kasparov Vatanian in the lightweight division. That's going to be an interesting one. Kasparov's like one big away from a title shot. Um, and I think that is, uh, that's definitely a big win right there for him. Anyway, moving on. Tomislav v. Murphy, the rematch. Murphy smoked Tomislav in the first one. Can it happen again? We're going to find out. Uh, John Doman v. Malcolm Evans. Both of these guys are kind of underperforming at the minute. I know John Doman, there was talks of him going back to welterweight, but I did want to give him one last fight at lightweight just to see if he can turn it around. And Malcolm Evans the same. You know, he's on a little bit of a losing streak, but we'll see. Anyway, moving on. Jamal Jackson taking on Wong Sawat. The loser of this fight will get cut from the UFC, so that's going to be interesting. I don't know how that one's going to unfold, um, but we'll see. 10-5 and five, Wong Sawat, 9-4 and four, Jamal Jackson. Interesting fight there. Then we have the BMF taking on Jonathan Smith. We're going to see how that one goes, man. I'm looking forward to that fight. And then moving on, we have Arthur Jackson v. J. King. Another very interesting fight. The last fight, it was a split decision. J. King just bagged it. Arthur Jackson's got one win. J., uh... Jay King's got one win. We're going to see how that one unfolds. Moving on, the main event, Tony Francisco taking on Alves. That's going to be a very, very high-level fight. Can't wait to see who wins that. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, man. Shafiq making his debut. Excited to play as this new up-and-coming featherweight. And we're going to see what he can do, man. I'm excited. He's in against Alex Caceres to start things off. And uh, I think we're going to get this one done. We're going to get in there and try and maul this kid. And, uh, you know, we get Shafiq on a big fight very, very soon. But let's rock and roll. First and foremost, let's start his career off. He's a very interesting Mai Tai fighter. And we're going to see how it unfolds with this kid. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get to it, man. Already starting off with these kicks. The thing is, Alex Caceres is a very, very tough high-level fighter as well. Look at that. Beautiful there, kicks. And again... Nice. I'm just going to land these kicks early. Nice. Beautiful. Kicking them legs. Again. Oh, okay. We like it, though. We like it. We want this uh, kind of, you know, this um, flashy kind of crazy kickboxing style. We always welcome it in-universe. Oh, Caceres down. Shafiq looking for a finish. I think he's going to get it. Unlucky there. That would have been nice too. Shafiq gets side saddle here. And Caceres, we're going to get back up. I don't want to tie up with him on the ground. We're just going to, you know, keep it standing. Look for that high kick. He's rocked. Shafiq now looking for the finish. Oh, he's out cold. What a knockout for his debut. What a finish that was. Shafiq, welcome to the roster with a spinning heel kick to the dome. Wow. Wow. What a freaking finish for you. Insane. Bravo, brother. Welcome to the roster. What a stoppage. Moving on. We have uh, the first subscriber v. Subscriber fight. Suvan Dekal taking on Alaves. We're going to see how that one goes. Let's rock and roll. Now, this one's going to be good. Two of the highest level featherweights at the moment. Suvan Dekal taking on Gabe Alaves. Very, very interesting fight. Both undefeated as well, which adds to this kind of crazy, crazy fight. So, we got um, we got Alaves, which is, uh, he's got some big wins. Um, and, of course, Dekal has as well, to be honest. Both of these guys are, you know, up there when it comes to their records. Both 6-0. Uh, Alaves got wins over Clay Guida, Makwan, Emir Kani, Jeremy Stevens, and Austin Dennison. And Alaves, uh, Alaves, sorry, Dekal as it wins over Mursad Bekatic, Renato Moicano, Calvin Cater, and Max Holloway. Both very, very big wins uh, for both of these guys. You know, they beat some real tough guys, and now they're in there against each other. The winner of this shot, uh, fight probably will get a title shot, in my opinion. I think, uh, you know, they're next in line for Brady. Um, so that's that's going to be interesting, putting them against Brady Mayfield. We'll see how Mayfield can fare against these guys. But anyway, let's go. Suvan de Cal, Gabe Alaves. It goes down. Let's see, man. Let's see. 
I feel like Decal has got better kickboxing, and I think Alaves has got better punches. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Decal is a little bit smaller than uh, Alaves as well, which is interesting. We'll see if that range does come into factor, but so far it seems like Decal, you know, that distance control from him, the striking on the outside is working very well for Decal. Decal seems nice, man. Like real good kickboxing. Look at the movement on him. Nice leg kick there. Rocks the leg of Alaves. What we could do is the loser of this fight could fight uh, Shafiq. That'd be interesting. We could do that if Shafiq wants it and some of you guys want it. We could do that. Nice boxing from Decal, though. He's already rocked the leg as well. So Alaves could have trouble walking on that when it comes to, you know, throwing his shots. Nice knee stomp there, though, from Alaves. Body kick there, I believe it was blocked. Body shit there for uh, for Decal. I don't know who's the better fighter out of these guys. I feel like they're both mixed. Nice spinning shot there for Takao again. Good double jab there. That's what I mean. I feel like the boxing side of things is very good for Alaves. But I feel like the kickboxing of uh, Takao is good. Nice high kick there from Takao as well. As he lands clean to the dome. Leg kicks. Look at his combinations here for Alaves. Not Alaves. Takao, my bad. I didn't get much sleep last night, boys. My commentary isn't great. But Takao... He's, uh, he's winning this fight so far. Good high kick there for him. And I'd like to see Decal now. Just kind of use uh, a little bit more boxing. I'd like to see Alaves as well. Good straight there for Decal. Okay. Interesting. That knee. That had landed, man. That would have been fatal for Decal. That would have been bad. Alaves, though, he's behind in this fight. I'd like to see him start to land a bit more. But Decal rocks him again. Cows look flawless in this fight so far. The combinations are flowing. He's a mean dude, bro. Another body kick lands. Nice shot there for Alaves, though. Jab there. Oh, big shot for the cow. Alaves needs to push forward, in my opinion. You know, walk him down. You got the size, walk him down. I think that's what he needs to do, you know, put that pressure on him, start to box him, make it a bit of a rough and tough fight. There we go, get the clinch, stuff like that. That's where Alaves could have some success. We're seeing him land here with these knees. Hip toss, maybe. The cow's getting pieced up in this clinch, bro. Needs to get out of that. The round ends, though. I would give that round to the cow, I think. Um, you know, he landed some real, real crazy shots there. And uh, I think, yeah, he won that first round. But moving on, round two. Let's see how it goes, man. Let's see what all unfolds. Round two. Ducking shot there for the cow. I'd like to see the cow keeping kicking range because Alaves, he's the bigger guy, you know, keeping that range. He's very unpredictable. That's what we see in the first round. Very unpredictable of what he's going to land and throw. Alaves, though, is starting to come back in this fight a little bit. Alaves got him in the clinch here again. Decides to give it up, though. Weird decision. Good boxing there from uh, Alaves and Decal, really. Alaves landed a shot. Front kick from Decal. So Alaves has landed more shots, but I do believe Decal has landed the, uh, the harder ones. And the tougher shots there. Good body shot there for Alaves. Front kick there. Leg kick. Good leg kick there from Alaves. Overhand just misses. Body shot is blocked there from Alaves. Very high level this fight. They're, they're very even, but... You know. Nice front kick. High kick there. Just misses. And Alaves is working this clinch very nicely. We're seeing him land a lot in the clinch. Leg kick there. The front kick again from Decal. Okay. Interesting so far. Let me know who you think's winning this fight. I think Decal won the first. This one's a little bit closer. Alaves might be taking this round just. But I think Decal looks out in this round though. Now he's landed. Nice uppercut there from Alaves. Ooh, they traded there. That would have been nice. I think both of them missed though. <laughs> they traded misses. <laughs> oh, big shot there. Catching the kick. Alaves has looked better in this round. 
Ooh, big shot there. The cow comes back in. I think the clinch work from Alaves is winning him some of this, uh, these exchanges. There it is again. He's getting a hold of him quite a bit. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens. Big left hook there from the cow. Okay. Ooh, okay. Big shots there. Oh, and again. Okay. Good body shots there. And DeKal starting to take over a little bit in this round. Double jab. This one's too close, though. Oh, but it's not no more. Knockdown for Suven DeKal. And down goes Alaves. What a knockdown for him. It's Alaves kind of needs to get back in this now. You know, DeKal scored a spinning back fist knockout there. Or well, knockdown, sorry, knockout. You know, is he going to be able to get back in this fight? That is the big question. I've got to say, though, so far, another spinning back this lands to end round two. I think the cow is ahead on the scorecards. Two knockdowns in two different rounds. And uh, Alavez is getting pieced up here a little bit. I'd like to see the cow uh, continue on this rhythm. And I'd like to see Alves, or Alves, Alavez grab a hold of him. You know, get a hold of him, make it an ugly and dirty fight if need be. Elbows, clinches, knees, they're working pretty well. Again, the cow lands. He's been so good in this fight. Very consistent. Very, very consistent. We've not seen Alaves kind of build or come back from what he uh, what he's been taking, you know, with the shots and stuff. So we'll see. I don't think the cow's even been rocked, but that could change in a moment. Another high kick lands though. The cow, another one. Down goes uh, Alaves. Wow. Nice body shot there. Pull the cow. Good jab there as well. Oh, and he's out cold. Suven Dakao earns himself a title shot. What a finish for that kid. Let's go. Big finish for Suven Dakao. Absolutely huge. And let's keep it rolling, man. We've got some more interesting fights up next. We have Alex Woodward taking on Kamaru Usman. Let's get it, man. Let's see how that one unfolds. The return of Whirlwind. Alex Woodward making a return against Kamaru Usman. A very interesting fight. I don't know how it's going to go. I think Woodward gets the better of him after a big win against Jorge Masvidal when he's last out in. He's in there again tonight against Kamaru Usman. Let's get it and see what happens, man. Usman's very tough. You know, he's got that wrestling base as well we need to watch out for. I'm just looking to flow here. We don't want Usman to work that clinch. I'm going to kind of let him know. Every time he comes in, we've got a knee or something waiting for him. There it is again. Woodward already. Wow. If Woodward knocks out Usman here, that's crazy. Could you imagine? I'm going to try and get back up here. Usman's probably not going to want that to happen. It might have been a big mistake for me to kind of, you know, try and get up from here. There we go. Got up that time. Distance control there. It's all about the distance. Left hand there. Usman. Nice knee for Woodward. Okay. okay. Calm. We want to stay calm. Don't want to go to the ground with him, though. But we're going to try and pick him off at range. That's going to be the plan in this one. Nice body shot. We know that takedown was coming. Woodward lands a big elbow there, I think. Ooh. Okay. Nice shot. Oh, clean shot. Down goes Usman. Woodward looking for the finish. Alex Woodward gets the finish of his career. Knocking out Kamaru Usman in the first round. He's back, man. He is back. Moving on, we have Tony Atlas taking on good old Colby Covington. We're going to see how that one goes, man. Uh, but yeah, what a win for Alex Woodward. Not a scratch on him. Let's go. The legend killer is back in the octagon against Colby Chaos Covington. Can he take out Colby? I don't know. This is going to be an interesting one. We've seen Atlas in these last few fights really, really dedicate himself to using leg kicks. And uh, I think we're going to see that again tonight against Chaos. Um, leg kicks and then we're set up for something high. But we'll see how it goes, man. Colby's a tough fight. I don't know if he's got the power to get Atlas out of there. I think Atlas is the hardest hitting dude in this uh, octagon right now. But we'll see. Just going to dedicate to ripping these legs. And already you can see a red mark on the legs of Colby. Atlas is wasting no time. He's letting him know your legs are going to get butchered if you fight me. Come back in with that one-two. 
Again, the leg kick. That leg is starting to bother Colby a little bit. We've seen his face wince in pain. Nice leg kicks. Covington has not checked one yet. Shoots him for a leg, though, and he gets it. Nice takedown from Colby. Interesting. We knew Covington was going to bring this. We knew he was going to wrestle. That's another reason I wanted to kind of hurt the legs, you know, just to stop him, you know, take away his power even more. Take away that wrestling base a little bit. We're going to see Atlas denies that transition. This guy. I think Atlas has got this. I think he's just got to stay calm. Colby's a tough guy. I just think uh, the beard. The beard's going to win this one, you know. Okay. Good shot. Again, these leg kicks, man. Okay, okay. Another leg kick. And Colby there, he's a very good wrestler. He's hard to deny. When it comes to these takedowns, man. Nice transition there. I wasn't even able to deny that. Colby now is in a position where I kind of don't want him to be. Try and get up. Okay, we're going to need to be patient here. Okay. Not bad. Up we go. Nice. Big leg kick there, and that kind of rocked him. Oh, his legs hurt, man. His legs real hurt. Oh, enough time, man. I thought I said this. Oh, what a combination. Tony Atlas just turns it over. Wow. Oh, he's not blocking these legs. His legs are getting beaten up here. Atlas now. He, Colby is not blocking the leg. Man, his legs, are, his legs are done. Every kick is sending him down. Man, again. Atlas is looking so good in this one. Those leg kicks, man. Okay. Might get the takedown. Just manages it there, but the round did end. The leg kicks are working so well for uh, Atlas there. He's really done well to start this fight off with these leg kicks. He's been attacking them legs all fight long. We're going to see in this round. Oh, he's broke his leg. He's broke his leg. Colby Covington cannot even stand. Tony Atlas there with a crazy, crazy win. I think that might be the first time we've seen that in universe mode. Tony Atlas setting records, man. Broke Colby Covington's leg. So he's had his jaw broke and his leg. Let's see if the shit talking continues. But, man, Tony Atlas there looking incredible. Breaking the leg of Colby Covington there, and he cannot continue. Atlas's leg kicks are real, man. Very, very good job for Tony. And uh, there we go. What a win. Up next, we have Kasper Vatanian taking on Habib Namagomedov. I'm terrified, but I'm uh, also hoping Vatanian can get that one done. If he gets it done, he's in the line for a title shot. Let's, uh, let's get it, man. Let's see how that one goes. This is a tough one for Vatanian, but if he gets it done, he's on to a title shot. And I uh, I truly believe we can get it done. We can get it done. I, I, I believe. I've got big faith in Vatanian. He's, uh, he's had some up and down moments in this universe mode, but I think right now he's in his best years, you know. He's beat some real big names recently, and I think he continue it on. He will be in a very good position. I'm just going to look to try and outbox Khabib. I know that takedown's coming. High kick already for Vatanian. That's what we want to see. Landed clean there. Habib now. We knew it was coming. Vatanian though denies it. That's what we wanted to see. Take down defense from Vatanian. That landed, man. Good boxing from the ice, man. Oh, big shot. If he buckled again. He's back though, he's recovered. If he can't get Vatanian down. Oh, what a finish! Kasperi Vatanian! Let's go, man. Let's go. Nice. And no one's even beat Khabib. I think Sturgo beat him up, but not like that. That was massive. 
Moving on, we have Tomislav Murphy up next. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a banger. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. High kick knockout again. We do the straight right high kick, and it always works. You can see it there again. Let's go. <laughs> so the first time these boys fought, Tomislav got absolutely derailed by Adrian Murphy. It was kind of scary how quick and easy Adrian Murphy was able to dismantle Tomislav. So Adrian Murphy's record real quick is 10-4. Uh, wins over Evan Dunham, Charles Oliveira, Eddie Alvarez. He then lost to Kasparri Vitanian. Uh, he came back and beat Edson Barboza, David Monarch, and Tony Ferguson. He then was on a two-fight losing streak to Sturgos Chattis and Malcolm Evans. He came back and dominated Tomislav. But then he had another fight against Kasperi Vitanian, and Kasperi got the W there. Thomas Lav has been on a weird one recently. You've got to think he was on a four-fight losing streak. He came back. Uh, he got wins over Renato Moicano, Duho Choi, Cub Swanson, Jonathan Miller, Sabit Magomed, Shari Pov, Alexander Volkanovsky, Max Holloway, Jonathan Miller, and Shalil undefeated until then. Then he got a super fight with Sturgos Chattis, and then it was downhill a little bit from there. He lost to Sturgos. Then he lost back-to-back -to, -back to Brady Mayfield. Then he lost to Adrian Murphy in the lightweight division. Then he come back, though. He beat Kevin Lee, John Doman, and Malcolm Evans, and he's on a three-fight win streak. He's looking to try and get this one back tonight against Adrian Murphy. Can he do it? I don't know. We're going to see Tomislav, Adrian Murphy up next, and we're going to see how it goes. Is it going to be the same? Is it going to be revenge for Tomislav? We're going to find out. Murphy pieced him up in that first one. I feel like a bit has happened since then. You know, They've, uh, they've beat some different people. They've lost to different people, and uh, we're going to see. Tomislav is... Uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, read the record, but Tomislav is uh, 14 and 4 and uh, Adrian Murphy is 10 and 4 so he's had some big wins as well both of these guys are you know top level in my opinion I feel like a win here would definitely separate them from uh, a lot of other people I know Vatanian's probably next in line after that last fight uh, to get in a title shot but after that I don't really know who's where I think Tomislav could be the next in line if he beats Adrian Murphy and the same for Adrian you know he gets a win here he's definitely in the conversation as well so it just depends how that happens. I think Doman and Malcolm Evans, those guys, they just need to, you know, come back. Ooh, Adrian Murphy there. A crazy kick. And Thomas answers back with one of his own. Crazy. Big shot there for Murphy. We're going to see. Murphy seems a lot more reserved in this fight so far than the first one. Murphy was just teeing off. But we'll see. I don't know if Thomas Lav is the biggest for lightweight. He's obviously a small guy. Come from featherweight. But what Thomas Lav lacks in size, he... Certainly makes up for in skill. A nice shot there for Tomislav. Good shot there. Another leg kick for him. Okay. Let's see how this goes, man. Nice front kick to the body. Murphy there. He's whiffing a little bit there. Tomislav lands in there. Let's go. Oh, weird shot there, but landed. Nice shot there. And the look at the movement from Thomas Lab. Does get cracked there though with uh, Adrian Murphy. A little bit of a stalemate now. They're just kind of staring at each other. <laughs> Front kick to the face for Adrian Murphy. Landing clean. I think Thomas Lab might be winning this round though. Just. But it's, it's pretty close. It's very close. But we'll see. We need someone to kind of make the difference there. But a nice high kick from Adrian Murphy. Someone needs to make a difference and, you know, take this round, I think. Still got a minute. It definitely can happen. This fight, compared to the last one, I think Murphy is looking a lot more defensive. He's still landing. We'll see. We will see. Good left hand there for Murphy. Knee to the head. Thomas left throwing back, though. Good up cut for Murphy, too. Interesting. Left hook. For Thomas Lev. Superman punch. Nice left hand from Thomas Lev. He's still in this. I didn't think he was out of it, to be fair, but you know, he's letting everyone know. <laughs> oh, okay. That was interesting. Interesting. Good uh, good first round. I think Murphy might have just took that, in my opinion. I don't know. It's so tough, man. Thomas Lev looked good as well. That was close. That was close. Maybe Thomas Lev. Oh, I don't know. That was a close fight. They're doing it again. Round two. Good shot. Murphy, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> no one's there. <laughs> okay. 
I'd like to see someone, you know, crack the other, you know, just walk forward and throw bombs, boys. Thomas Lab landed some good shots there, though, and an overhand just clips him. Nice movement from Thomas Lab. Get out of the way of that shot. 22 31. It's a lot more strikes, to be fair. Two shots there, land clean. Thomas Lab's got to watch out. Murphy hits hard, but then again, Murphy's getting pieced up. It is a little bit like Thomas Lab's a weaker puncher, but he's been more accurate in this one, you know? And Murphy needs to, you know, if he's got that power advantage, use it. Walk him down. Nice off balance there. Okay. One, two there for Murphy. And a front kick for good measure. Ooh, close. But no cigar. Stop there. An overhand for Thomas Lab. Murphy is wobbled. Interesting. Yeah, kick there for Thomas Lab. Man. Good slip there for Murphy. And a nice leg kick for Thomas Lab. This is an even fight. I don't know who's winning this. Superman punch. There's a lot of them in this fight, man. When these guys fight, it's always a chess match. That's what I will say. Thomas Lav in the last one, though, wasn't really a chess match. I mean, well, kind of, kind of. He did have some moments, but I think Murphy just started so well and he landed, and it was kind of a downfall for Thomas Lav. He landed once, then he landed again and again and again, and then uh, every shot was buckling Thomas Lav in the end. But we'll see. We'll see how this one unfolds. I think Thomas Lav's winning this, to be honest. So we'll see. Big shot. Okay. Very high level though. They're seeing there's a lot of feints, a lot of faults going into these moves and stuff. They're not just standing and banging. They're picking their shots nicely. I don't know who's winning. I'd say Tom is left, in my opinion. So far. Good knee stomp there. So Stergos Chats is keeping a very big eye on this fight, you know. He uh, got beat by Brady Mayfield in his last fight. He's keeping an eye on this, you know, to maybe get a comeback fight. I think the winner could fight Brady. Uh, Brady could fight Stergos. Stergos has beat both of these guys, so I think a return to one of these guys. I mean, Murphy and Stergos have some beef as well, so that's an interesting one. If Murphy can get through this, I think Thomas Lav's winning, in my opinion. I think he's winning this fight, and I think we could be seeing Thomas Lav v Stergos too. Really interesting. Murphy, oh, big elbow. There's a little cut on the eye of Thomas Lev. Good movement. Oh, spinning hill kick lands clean, and Murphy's buckled. Down he goes. Thomas Lev, so desperate there to get the finish. <laughs> and again, spinning hill kick spam from Thomas Lev. Moves to the body for Murphy. And again, the spinning hill kick spam. Down goes Murphy. Thomas Lev looking for the finish. Murphy 10 and 5, he loses this one, not great. Back to back losses as well. I'd like to see Murphy try and bring it back though. Thomas Lav is on a roll at the minute. 3 and 0 in his last three. Murphy getting tagged. Nice reversal there from Murphy, just kind of keeping his hands up. Survival mode here though. Thomas Lav's done everything he needs to in this round to really, really give the judges a. Uh, you know, a big, big decision. You know, just just showing that he's about it and he's, you know, he's landed clean with them spinning heel kicks regardless of, you know, the fight before. He's came back in this one and he's, he's landed some real big shots. And I think this is um, probably the best Thomas Lav we've seen. I think, you know, he's come back 3-0 at the minute in his last three. Could potentially just be 4-0. If Murphy lands a shot now, that'd be absolutely insane. Murphy, he's out on his fight. He's missing a little bit. He's not... Not really there, and a high kick sends him down. Thomas Lav looking for the finish. Can he get it? Murphy's tough as they come, man. They can't get him out of there. Good reversal there from Thomas Lav. He was open to roll out of that. He kind of waited for him to roll and got back on him. 
Nice work from Thomas Lev. This might go to a decision. Although it probably shouldn't. Thomas Lev has been nailing him. You know, he's been landing high kicks, spinning heel kicks. Been landing very clean, but he's just unable. It shows a lot of grit in Murphy. You know, it shows that he's um, he's tough. He's tough as they come. He gets cracked with anything and he comes back. But he's back to his feet now, which is a dangerous game. Especially when he's as hurt as he is. We'll see. Thomas Lev, very unpredictable. Murphy, though, he looked good against him in the first one. I think maybe we do the trilogy down the line, you know? It's 1-1 at the moment. Big uppercut there for Murphy. Big knee for Thomas Lev. And he's come back. What a comeback for him. You've you got to think of uh, how he lost. He was a back-to-back -back losses four times. He lost to Sturgos, Braden twice. And then who was the other guy? Who, who was it? Was it... Um, who beat him? <laughs> I can't even remember, but Thomas Lav, you know, he's one of these guys. It was uh, Adrian Murphy, of course. Um, and he's come back. He beat Kevin Lee, John Bowman, and Malcolm Evans. And now he's just avenged this loss to uh, good old Murphy there. You've got to think, you know, he's back. He's better than ever. And uh, he gets a massive win tonight. Crazy finish there for Thomas Lav. He is back. Murphy's leg. That looks rough. What a finish there for Thomas Lav. He's back in a big way with a massive win tonight. And we're going to see. We're going to see what happens with him. But first and foremost, now... We have uh, Malcolm Evans taking on John Doman up next. Very interesting fight. Both guys kind of need a win in this division. We're going to see who gets it done. Up next, man. Two of the baddest men on the planet. John Doman taking on Malcolm Evans. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, both of the guys come to bring it. They both hit very, very hard. And we're going to see how this one goes. John Doman in his last fight lost against Kasparov Vitanian. But before that, he got wins over Amari Akhmedov, Uriah Hall, Derek Brunson, uh, Yo Romero, Jay King, Israel Adesanya, Robert Whittaker. He then lost to Jamal Jackson. Came back with a four-fight winning streak, beating Kelvin Gastelum, GSP, Ivan, and Wong Sawat. He then lost to Jordan Holmes. He come back and beat Justin Gaethje, and that was his lightweight debut. Since then, though, he's on a two-fight losing streak to Tomislav and Kasperi Vatanian. He's now in there against Malcolm Evans, which is 10-2. and two. He's had some pretty interesting up-and-down fights as well. If you look at how he's beat Mickey Gall, Tim Means, Tom, uh, Tom, Carlos Condit, uh, and Eric Silva. He then lost to Ziggy Todd. Um, and then he moved down to the lightweight division where he was on a bit of a tear. He beat uh, Kasparov Vitanian, David Monarch, Jonathan Miller, and Codor McGregor. He then lost to Sturgos Chattis in the title fight. Uh, he came back and beat Adrian Murphy. But he's on a two-fight losing streak as well to Jonathan Miller and Tom Islav. This fighter, you know, it's a must win for both of these guys. 10-4 um, Malcolm Evans and 15-4 and John Doman. It's a, it's a must win for both of these guys. I think... Malcolm Evans hits harder, but I think John Bowman is more skilled when it comes to the kickboxing. We'll see what happens. We'll see how this unfolds. Malcolm Evans is so big for this weight class, bro. Look at the size of him. He's a savage, man. When he knocked out... I was saying in the Discord the other night, it, when he knocked out Kasper Vitanian with that high kick, bro, uh, it was a ducking roundout. So I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, what a, what a finish. One of the best finishes and biggest finishes on the channel. He smoked Kasper. Malcolm, he's very slow, but if he lands, bro, he's shutting off the lights. You know, that's something uh, something we do know. Doman, he's a lot more faster. He's a lot more skilled with his kickboxing. And I think uh, we'll see how it unfolds, first and foremost. I'm not going to say my prediction, but we'll see how it unfolds. I think Malcolm Evans, you can't ever count Malcolm Evans out. because He's always got a puncher's chance, even if he isn't the quickest. He's always got a puncher's chance. He hits like a damn freaking truck there. And he just skimmed John Doman with that shot. He's got to watch out. John Doman doesn't want to be in close proximity with Malcolm. If I was John Doman, I'd be telling him to keep the range, bang the kicks from distance, you know, and get out of there. Malcolm Evans, the opposite. I'd be telling him to push forward and, you know, make it an ugly fight. Get in there and use your power. Try and get close to him, and, you know, land clean. Nice overhand there for Doman. We'll see how it goes, man. This is a really interesting fight. Don't know who wins it, though. Both guys need a win. They need a big win. Two uh, two losses in their last two for both guys. John Doman. Oh. Big shots. Okay. Another shot lands. And again. Again. 
Again, man. Arthur Jackson. Arthur Jackson. I was, I was thinking about Arthur Jackson. That's why I was looking at his records. Oh, but a nice left. For John Diamond. Arthur Jackson is up against Jay King. I was going to talk about that recently. Um, you know, we had the split decision. I was actually talking to Arthur last night, and uh, he said, bro, I, I was, uh, every time he fights Jay King, he gets away from me. And I was like, he does. He really does. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see how that fight unfolds. Both of these guys, are uh, they could both move up to middleweight, these two as well. They're both very, very tough. But it's just like John Bowman here. He's getting a better in there. Another knockdown for John Bowman. It looks like he's about to finish his fight. Arthur. I keep saying Arthur, bro. It's because I'm reading his record as I'm looking at this. But he's out. Malcolm Evans is unable to continue. A beautiful knockout shot. You must have forgot if you thought John Bowman was finished. Y'all must have forgot. What a finish. Well, John Doman there, and he's back in a massive way with a smashing victory over Malcolm Evans there. A huge, huge win. And uh, it's kind of sad. Malcolm Evans is now 10-5. and five. Don't really know what to do with him. I might give him a... Uh, I think we do one more fight, him and Murphy, and the loser probably is going to crash out of the organization. I think that's, that's kind of how that's going to go. But a big finish there for John Doman. Malcolm Evans bites the dust. John Doman is back. Um, I know there was talks of him going up to welterweight. I kind of wanted to see if he could still do it lightweight. It's down to your, you, John Doman. It's down if you want to stay here or move up or move down. It's Ladies up to you, man. It's all up to you. Anyway, moving on. We have Wong Sawat v. Jamal Jackson. I don't know how that fight's going to go. The loser will be cut from uh, the UFC. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that one goes, man. Let's rock and roll. Up next, we have the most savage fight. The loser is ending their career in the UFC. I don't know who gets it done. I'm going to commentate over it a little bit with uh, with their record. So we have Wong Sawat, who is 10 and 5, wins over Lyoto Machida, Amari Akhmedov, Derek Brunson, Kelvin Gastelum, Jack Hermanson, Kamzat Jumayev, William Knight, Francis Musa, and Robert Whittaker. His losses are to Jamal Jackson, John Doman, Ivan, Jay King, and Arthur Jackson. He's got a fair few uh, wins and losses 10 wins, 5 losses. Uh, it's not looking great for either man. You know, one of them's got to go, and it does kind of upset me that, um, you know, someone is going to have to leave the uh, the thing, but it's going to give someone else a chance to play and uh, join the universe. So, I mean, it is what it is. I, I do apologize, man. I wish I could keep all these fighters, but there you go. Anyway, Jamal Jackson, 9-4, and four, wins over Chris Weidman, Luke Rockhold, Ivan, uh, Wong Sawat, John Doman, and Israel Adesanya. His only loss is coming to Jordan Holmes twice, Arthur Jackson, and Ivan. It'll be a very, very interesting one. I can't wait to see how this fight unfolds. And, uh, we'll get it done there, and we're going to see who's staying in the UFC and who is leaving. Who's leaving this uh, this universe? I, I hope uh, whoever it is that you know they just put on a show and they they go out swinging. You know, but we'll see. We got Wong Sawat, a very crafty kickboxer. We have uh, Jamal Jackson, a very very good boxer. Both of these guys have kind of been on the back foot recently with back to back losses and stuff. So. You know, middleweight for a time. I was saying this in my Discord last night. Middleweight is so... It was so popular for a time. And there were so many fights to make. And now it's dead in the water. Everyone's gone down to welterweight and lightweight. And they're doing what they can there. Big rock there from Wong Sawat. Nice high kick from him. Can he keep it going? Jamal Jackson here. Looking to try and come back from that. Can he do it? Big one, two there for Wong Sawat. Okay, nice knee, and again to the dome for Wong Sawat. He's looking for the finish. Nice defense there from Jamal Jackson. Let's see what happens, man. Big shots getting thrown here. Wong Sawat almost got him out of there with that. That would have been insane. Jamal Jackson trying to get back up. Can he do it? He's back to his feet. Nice recovery there from Jamal. Good jab there from him, too. Nice Superman punch. And a high kick there as well. Big body shot from uh, Wong Sawat and Jamal now hurt. And Wong Sawat looking for the finish. Can he get it? 30 seconds left of this round. It's nice straight right there from Wong Sawat. Front kick clips him. And he's hurt from that. Down he goes. I think Wong Sawat gets him out of there here. If he just threw to the head. Instead, he goes to the body. Genius. What a genius. <laughs> it is what it is. Good first round, though. Wong Sawat definitely took that. I think there's no doubt about that. What's up? What, what are they doing? Boys, the round's over. Okay. <laughs> I think they wanted a cuddle after that, man. <laughs> okay. 
high kick there. That was definitely a round for Wong's away. He had a lot of high right highlight reels in that in that kind of rounds. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And uh, I don't know. I, I think we just we continue it on and we, we see who gets it. I, I, I don't want to cut anybody, but yeah, it's, it's got to happen. It's, it's kind of sad, I guess, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, someone else will come back in and you know try and um, try and make a run of the belt and stuff. I do want to apologise to whoever does get cut. I know uh, if I had the chance to keep every single fighter, I would really do that because it would make things so much more interesting. But unfortunately, we're unable to do that. Big shot there, though, for Wong Tsawat. Let's go. Overhand, though, from Jamal, and that's the shot he knocked him out with. You never know. Jamal Jackson could turn it back here. I know it's all Wong Tsawat at the moment, but that could change with one shot. I guess we'll see. 39 to 25. It's definitely a good start in the fight for Wong Sawat. As he lands clean again. Okay. Ooh. He's landing nice to the body, Wong Sawat. Good leg kick. There we go. Buckled the leg of Jamal there. Got to be careful for that. A little check of the leg kick might have been good there. There it is. Check that one. Wong Sawat, though, he's hitting all the targets. You've got to think he's rocked into the chin, to the body, and the legs. He's doing a real good job here of lighting up Jamal. Good slip from Jackson there. Let's go. Never count Jamal out. We've said this time and time again throughout Universe Mode. Never count Jamal Jackson out. Never count him out. He's just too good. In this fight, though, it just seems like Wong Sawat has got his number. Goes for the finish there. Jamal slips it. Big knee to the head, though. Jamal still in it, man. He gets back up, showing grit and determination here to keep fighting. Okay. Wonks are here. Nice shot. Nice straight there for Jamal. Although he's losing this fight, in my opinion, I, th I think there might be a way he can come back. But messy shots like that are definitely not the way. Yeah, and he's just leaving his chin open. You can't do that with someone like Wong Sawat, man. You just can't. And that's why. Jamal Jackson out cold and he's out of the UFC. Wong Sawat just manages to cling on and uh, he's still in the organization. Jamal Jackson, it's been a pleasure. He's been a champion as well. This, I think this might be the first champion we've actually cut from the, uh, from the organization. I think um, Jamal Jackson is a, he's a beast and he was, he was so much fun to play as. Uh, but he, he was on a downward spiral after losing twice to Holmes. Then Ivan got one in as well. And and uh, Arthur as well got one in. And now Wong Sawa. I think, Jamal, it's time to hang him up, bro. Or oh, it's time for you to leave the UFC. He's 9-5 and five now. And, uh, yeah, it's time It's time for Jamal to, to get out, in my opinion. No disrespect. He was a lot of fun to play as. He was a lot of fun to watch. He provided some of the best finishes we've seen. Especially when he knocked Wong Sawa out in the first fight. You know, what a, what a finish that was. But... He's out, you know, he's, he's done. Goodbye, Jamal Jackson. Wong Sawat is going to stay for a little bit. Hopefully, he can continue this winning streak and uh, or advance on this win and make a winning streak. But I guess we'll see. Up next, we have Ivan v. Smith. That's going to be an interesting one. Let's get it. So now we have the BMF v. Jonathan Smith. This is going to be interesting. Ivan in the last fight obviously won the BMF title against Jonathan Miller. So that's, that's massive in itself. Ivan 17-5 wins over Sam Alvey, Chris Weidman, Darren Till, Uriah Hall, Colby Covington, Alex Woodward, Leon Edwards, Francis Musa, Jay King, William Knight, Wong Sawat, Arthur Jackson, Jamal Jackson, and Jonathan Miller. His losses come into Jay King, Jamal Jackson, Jordan Holmes, John Doman, and Jordan Holmes again. He's 17-5, and, five, and uh, he's a freaking savage. And he's going up against Jonathan Miller. Uh, Jonathan Miller. Jonathan Smith. He's already beat Jonathan Miller. <laughs> My bad. I've just got to kind of find his record here real quick. I'm going to get into the fight, though. Jonathan Smith is 9-2. Wins over Tony Atlas, Tyron Woodley, Alex Woodward, uh, Jorge Masvidal, Alex Woodward again, and Leon Edwards. His only loss is coming to Rafael Alves in the Contender Series final and Tony Francisco. Interesting fight in here, man. Ivan, the BMF against Jonathan Smith. I don't really know who wins this. I'd say Ivan just because he's got a lot more experience, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. Ivan, if he wins this fight, will be 18 and 5. If Jonathan Smith wins this, he'll be 10 and 2. Interesting records. Both of these guys, very tough. Some of the most wild guys in the division. 
Ivan, of course, winning the BMF belt in his last one as well. Very interesting turn of events. We're going to see what happens. High kick for Ivan. Nice shot. Big shots there for Smith. Okay. Here we go, man. Here we go. I'm excited for this fight, man. Really excited. Up next, though, we have Jay King v. Arthur Jackson. And then Francisco v. Alves. Another very interesting fight in this division. And we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes, man. Oh, high kick melts Ivan. And Jonathan Smith there with a crazy, crazy start to the fight. The comeback kid. No comeback in this one, man. High kick lands clean. Ivan's down. Back up, though. Can't count him out. Never count Ivan out. What a shot there, though, for Jonathan Smith, man. Wow. Now they're trading. Okay. Swing and a miss there. Both guys whiffing. Good straight there for Smith. Okay. Oh, and again, the high kick for Smith. Three high kicks in a row. <laughs> and down goes Ivan. I've never seen that before. Bang, bang, bang. All high kicks. What the hell? Ivan down again. He's facing some adversity in this one. I would never count Ivan out, though. The BMF. He's the BMF for a reason. But we'll see. Them high kicks are definitely finding a home for Jonathan Smith. But we will see. Big shot. Oh, spinning heel kick, though. That's clean for Ivan. Other body shot, and again. I'm in the clinch now, and Ivan doing some damage. Okay. That combination from Smith, then three high kicks. Oh, what a shot! Ivan's out. First round finish for Jonathan Smith. What a win. That's probably the biggest win of his career. Hands down, the biggest win of his career. Jonathan Smith, unbelievable upset. I thought Ivan was going to go in there and win. Unbelievable upset. Wow, what a performance from Jonathan Smith. He has still proved that he is one of the baddest motherfuckers in welterweight. Jumping high kick closes the show. Ivan out like a light. Wow. Moving on, we have Jay King, Arthur Jackson up next. Going to be an interesting one. The, uh, the trilogy, who gets it done? Let's find out. In my opinion, two of the most underrated guys at middleweight. we got Arthur Jackson taking on Jay King. Jay King, 17-3. Very, very good record. He's only lost to some big names as well. He's, he kind of is disregarded in this division. But he's one of the best, and he's been here since the beginning. Wins over Brad Tavares, Christoph Jocko, Anderson Silva, Ivan, uh, Kelvin Gasolum, the Ultimate Cheetah, Derek Brunson, Jack Manson, Edmund Shabazian, Francis Musa, Luke Rockhold, Yol Romero, Wong Sawat, and Arthur Jackson. 17-3 for Jay King. Arthur Jackson as well, one of the most underrated guys in this division. Sam Alvey, Michael Bisping, Jackaday, Jay King, Paulo Costa, Robert Whittaker, Israel Adesanya, Jamal Jackson, and Wong Sawat, making him 11-3. He's only lost to Jordan Holmes, Ivan, and Jay King in the last fight. We're going to see how this one goes, man. I think this fight, I think it's going to be a bit different. I think I'm, I'm betting Arthur Jackson. I was actually speaking to him last night, and he said, Jay King just keeps getting away from me, and I just can't find that shot. I, I think uh, fate is going to align, and I think... You know, we're going to see Arthur land that shot tonight. I think Arthur knocks him out tonight. I don't think he gets off the hook. I think Jay King, though, if he does stay away and lands his shots at range, you know, whether it be his body shots and his spinning shit, he could really upset I uh, Ivan's. He could upset Arthur's rhythm. We could see a finish there from, um, from Jay King. I don't know. I, I just feel like Arthur Jackson could get it done, but we'll see. And this is what Jay King needs to do, but he needs to do this consistently. Good straight there for Arthur. Let's go. Bit of a stalemate. High kick thrown there. Arthur trying to feint the takedown there. Nice. Leg kick there for Jackson. Okay. Interesting so far. Ooh. Oh, what a shot from Arthur. J King's hurt. And this is where Arthur needs to just dive on him. Instead of being too patient. He needs to get him. He said, I'm not letting him off the hook this time. I would abandon the grappling. If you remember the last fight, Arthur just could not seem to get him down too much. He got him down like a few times, but 
He shot in loads and he was just unable to execute the takedown. Big leg kick for Jay King. He's actually buckled the lead leg of Arthur. Wow. Good shots there. Jay King swings in. Elbow. Oh, and again. Nice left hand there for Jay King. And front kick for him too. Okay. Oh, big shot for Arthur Jackson though. He banged into the chin again and the body. Jay King is very crafty though. He's very agile on his feet. He gets out of there very quickly. Nice body shot there for King. Fainted the spinning shot as well. He's doing a good job of upsetting the river with Jackson. Spinning heel kick there. Jackson's got a chin. Oh, <laughs> Why is it whenever I say something, then something else goes against it, you know? Jackson got a chin and then he proceeds to get knocked down, bro. Oh, oh, here we go. Can he imagine he gets this? That'd be insane. Got 28 seconds and Jay King's pretty decent at submission defense, but there we go. If Arthur Jackson got that, that'd be huge, man, but I think he's got this. Nah. The round's going to come to an end before we can lock it in. Jay King gets out as well. I don't know who took that round. That was close. I'm edging towards Arthur Jackson for that because of the knockdowns and stuff. I think he knocked him down a few times as well. And he definitely cracked him more. I've got to go Arthur Jackson. Though Jay King had the nicer knockdown with the spinning heel kick. I'd say uh, Arthur. I'd say Arthur Jackson took that. Even though he was nearly finished. It, these two are so close when they fight. you love to see it. Big shot. One lands. They're trading now. It's that takedown there. It was kind of dangerous there from Arthur. We see him slip in and nearly eat an uppercut. Good body shot there for Jay. Takedown from Arthur though. A spear. Let's go. He's trying to get that arm. Trying to get a Kimura here. Can Arthur Jackson do it? Looking good. I don't know if he's got that. Nah. Jay King's crafty, man. He's very crafty. Very, very crafty. It's always a war when these guys get at it, though. Always. Look at these shots. Jackson turns it over. Good grappling there from Arthur. Is he going to get the back? Yeah, he's got the back. He's got the hooks in. And decides to stand. Okay, interesting. There. Jay King answers back though. Big elbow there for Arthur though, but then he just injures his leg. So unlucky. Jay King with them knee stomps landing early. Jackson here trying to wear him down. Jay King again. You've got to give credit where credit is due. That takedown defense is so good. Left for Jackson. And an uppercut lands. Jay King's in trouble. A high kick there for Arthur. Take him out, bro. Finish him. Oh, man. I see what Arthur means. His character just lets him off the hook. Maybe these guys are friends. <laughs> nice leg kick from Jackson. Nice left hand there for King. Again, jab, uh, jab leg kick there. Working well. And again. Ooh. Oh, left hand melts Jay King. Arthur Jackson in Axie's revenge. Knockout finish for Dynamite. That is why they call him Dynamite. Let's go. Big finish for Arthur Jackson. Let's go. Moving on, we have Tony Francisco v. Alves. Going to be a very interesting fight. Can Rafael Alves keep the undefeated streak going? Or will he fall to the veteran, Tony Francisco? What a knockout there from Arthur Jackson. Crazy finish. Now, the winner of this fight is in a very good position to argue for a rematch or a title shot. Tony Francisco, obviously, he wants his rematch against Jordan Holmes. And uh, Alves is in one of these positions where he's undefeated. He's looked freaking... He's looked like a killer. Um, and he hasn't lost yet either. He's 7-0. He's got wins over Kamish Alassamid, Clint Anderson, Jonathan Smith, Ziggy Todd, Kamaru Usman, and Colby Covington. 7-0. And he's facing tonight a bit of a veteran in Tony Francisco. Very interesting fight. I don't know if uh, Alves has enough experience to get this one done. But 
We'll see. Uh, Tony Francisco wins it over Bobby Green, Al I Quinter, Paul Felder, Dustin Poirier, Stagos Chatsis, Tony Ferguson, Michael Chanda, Charles Oliveira, Jorge Masvidal, Ziggy Todd, and Jonathan Smith. His only two losses in his career coming to Khabib Nurmagomedov and Jordan Holmes. Very, very interesting. 14-2 v. 7-0. I feel like the experience gap is going to play a big thing in this fight. And Francisco could get it done. We will see. Rafael Alves is in there looking to cause an upset. I think Francisco is the favourite in this fight. And Alves there. He's a big dude for freaking for, uh, welterweight. You've got to think Francisco's a natural lightweight as well. Alves is a big dude for this weight class. Jeez. We'll see what happens. We will see. Okay. Big body shot there for Alves. I think Francisco... I, uh, I, this was a short notice fight. Francisco came in and saved this card, in my opinion. He's placed him down already. Tony Francisco. Placed him down. Ooh. He came in and saved this card in the last moment. I, I approached him with this fight last night. And he's like, yeah, go on, we'll take it. I was like, you're a freaking bad man. You, you're a beast. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know who wins this. Big shot there for Alves. Yeah, nice. Ooh. Not bad. Not a bad start to the fight. I think Francisco definitely winning. Landed a beautiful combination to start things off. He's cracking Alves. Alves is a massive guy for this weight class. Jeez. He's a tall dude. Good shot. For Alves there with the left hook. Ducking roundhouse there for Francisco. Tony, let's go. Again. Good shot for him. Francisco's winning this fight. He landed a beautiful shot to drop Alves in the opening few minutes. The trade in now, though. Knees and kicks. Got straight there for Alves. Okay, a little bit of a stalemate here. Good kick there to the face for Francisco. Kick the legs out from under him. Okay, what's Alves doing, bro? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Good leg kick for Francisco there. Picking his shots nicely. Bit of a chess match so far in this one. Alrighty. Nice jab. Again. Okay. Oh, big shot for Francisco and Alves is buckled again. Good combination there for Tony. Trying to close the show, but the range is definitely in Alves' favour. Nice count on right hand there, though. And Alves dropped again. Alves looked like a killer, and you know, he's he's beat some big names to be in the position he's in, but Francisco, that experience, I said, the experience of Francisco is gonna pay off here. And there we go. Good first round for Francisco. He won that one, in my opinion. No doubt about that. We go into round two. Here we go. Okay. Oh, big shot. High kick for Francisco. Alves is hurt. Interesting. Oof, big body kick there for Alves, this guy. Okay. Big body shot. 30 to 24. Pretty even. It's not it's not too bad. I do think Francisco though he's landed the harder strikes early and the more clean strikes. Even being the smaller guy, I, I, I say it's the experience in my opinion. As Alves is rocked again. I think Alves will definitely come back if he loses this, but... Man. This puts either guy in a title fight situation where they can call out Holmes and potentially get it. But I do think Holmes is... Uh, he's got his eyes on Brady, I think. I do think. Oh, a front kick sends Alves down. That could be all over. Wow. Wow. 
Bravo, man. Nice. Got to give some kind of credit to, uh, you know, to Alves for getting up there. He's fainting, jumping kicks there. We haven't seen it. He kind of, he kind of throws in the air there, bro. Oh, but a left hand. One of the best knockouts I've ever seen. Knockout of the night. Jonathan Smith and Tony Francisco there. You got to say. I don't know about uh, about you. I'd say another knockout of the night is definitely um, what's his face as well, Vertanian. Vertanian definitely deserves one. I'd say. We've got to give something to Anthony Atlas for that leg kick KO that he did. That was beautiful, man. I didn't see that coming. And I didn't see that left hook come as well. I think uh, Arthur Jackson did well. Uh, but I honestly think, um, yeah, I'd say knockout of the night. Tony Francisco gets knockout of the night. Jonathan Smith as well, knockout of the night. And performance bonuses to them guys as well. Anyway, guys, for today's episode, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. Comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe mode next time. Stelton, guys, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all again in the next one.